So I'm John Barras and I am a professor here at the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering in the Fisel Department of Bioengineering and in the Institute for Systems Research. I work in several areas, but at the heart of what I do is what is called the convergence of control communications and computing. So if you look at all my papers, they involve these three areas, control and automation, communication, or networking and communications, and computing. And what is, the, what, is, what is this? Is that as we have systems that we try to build, whether they are automatic control systems for you know, HVAC, for the houses, or for the automobiles, or for the aircraft, you have to try to develop automatic control mechanisms that then you put on boards that they put into the system and they guide the system. And communication means that I cannot do control without actually sensing. So I have to have some measurements. So I have to sense things. I collect my measurements. I compute something on the basis of this. And then I decide some actions, like you do in robotics, like we do when humans. So that's communication. So you cannot do controls without communications. I don't separate the two subjects. I treat of them as a whole. And then it comes computing. Because in order to do sensing, you need to do computing. In order to decide the action, you have to do computing. When you want to implement the sensors, you're going to have to use chips. When you want to implement the controllers, you have to introduce chips. Right? So this trio controls computing communications, or c cube as some people call it, is very essential to my work. And now these fields, although they were going separately for a long time, they're converging. Another fundamental thing in my research that you will see is the, the notion of networks. So we have networks of humans working with each other. We have networks of sensors working with each other. We have networks ro of robots working with each other. So why this is a, a very um, fundamental shifting in the way we think about control communication and computing is, is as follows. Basically, in systems and in control communication and computing, we do this cycle, which we call sense, decide, actuate. Now, in modern systems, the sensor, the, the, the person who does the decision, or the device that does the decision making, or the computer, and the actuator, they are not collocated. They are networked. So you may have sensors over here, actuators over here, computers over here. So that means the following. If you put networks in the control system now because they are not collocated, the existing control theory does not apply. So you have to invent a new theory of controls for network control systems. You put network together with information theory and communications, especially with information theory, you don't have a network information theory. You have information theory for point-to-point -point communications and from one to many and many to one, but not for networks. And for network computing, again, the notion of computability has to change. So networks are causing for a revolutionary thinking in these three areas. So some of the things that I work with is collaborative robotics or collaborative UAVs. I work in security, in networks, and also in wireless communications. I work in performance and modeling and evaluation of wireless networks or satellite networks, and relations of all these three topics. I also work a lot in areas that have to do with healthcare. Right? How do you make uh, wireless phones more secure? How you can use them in mobile health? How can you use these uh, mobile devices to be able to communicate with your doctor, for instance? And again, in this concept, you see that you have to deal with networks. You have to deal with hardware, because you can use hardware for increasing security. You can use software for increasing security. In collaborative control, the fundamental issues are how do you understand the models that you have to build to evaluate collaboration. And the most important question there is the notion of autonomy, which is not well defined. You, everybody talks about we want to have groups of robots and others that they will you know, work autonomously as a group. But this has to be defined. In other words, if you tell me I have autonomy group A and autonomy group B, which one is more autonomous and why? How do I quantify this concept? We, we, we have a lot of work to do here in terms of autonomous and collaboration control. What has emerged in my, in my work is certain fundamental principles about how do you think about these problems. One is we use collaborative game theory to try to understand the collaboration between agents. Another one is we try to use distributed computing and asynchronous computing to understand how the computations are happening. We also have come back to emphasize again mixture of analog and digital computations which used to be the mode before digital computers took over. And each of these areas has very, very difficult challenges that we try to address. So 
Although, if you look at my webpage and the papers, it appears that I work in many seemingly unrelated papers and uh, areas. Uh, at the heart of them is this mathematics, analytics, and models that they come about from the convergence of control, communication, and computing, and the fact that many of the systems now are networked.